Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take a look at a problem that you might be familiar with, as in it's related to your homework. Let's say we have a box that is initially moving down a plane, and then it comes to a rest. Okay, so the box is sliding down the plane, and then it comes to a rest. So let's think about two things here. Let's think about the motion diagram for this thing. And then we will think about the forces that are acting on it. So for those motion diagrams, one way to draw it is arrows that indicate the velocity. So if that is my initial velocity and this thing is coming to rest, then I want to draw it again and again, but the arrows are going to get shorter and shorter and shorter, and finally it comes to a rest. Okay, and that's what my motion diagram looks like. Those indicate velocity. Now, what about the forces that are acting on the block? Okay, this is our velocity picture. And now what about the forces that are acting on this block? All right, I've taken the block and I made it a dot. We're going to make a free body diagram. What is one force that is acting on the block? Yeah, Ben? Uh, gravity is pulling straight down towards okay. the block. Okay, gravity is pulling straight down. Okay, why didn't I make gravity pull down the plane, Ben? Because no matter what, it's pulling towards the Earth. That's it's, where the force is coming. Exactly right. It's always pulling towards the center of the Earth. Okay? So if you ever draw gravity not straight down, something's wrong. Okay? Unless you're on some other part of the Earth. Okay? But gravity is always towards the center of the Earth. So always draw gravity straight down. All right. What else do I need? What's your name in the back there? Allie. Allie. What other forces do I need here, Allie? Um, the normal force. The normal force. And which way should the normal force be going? Um, kind of at a slant, how the box is angled. Okay, kind of at a slant, like that? Uh, the other way. Okay, kind of this way, like that? No, up. Okay, <laughs> that, that way, like that? <laughs> the other way. This way, like that. Kind of more up. That, like that? Yeah. That one? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Trial by fire. Okay, good. So, we like this as our normal force N. Typically, in this textbook, they use N for the normal force. We'll go with that. Do you like the, the length of that normal force, Allie? Um, it should be a little bit longer. A little bit longer? The same length as uh, gravity. Okay, the same length as gravity. Let's try that. All right, first off, do we like the direction? Does everybody like the direction of that normal force? Yeah, I like it. If that was the surface of our triangle over here, normal means perpendicular to the surface. That's what that term means, normal, which is why we call it the normal force. What about the length? Should the length of the normal force be exactly the same as the length due to gravity? Laura, what do you think? Raise your hand real quick, Laura, so Jim can find you. There's Laura. What do you think? Is that length of the normal force, should that be the same as gravity or not? Uh, yes. Okay. If it is, then what we're saying is if it's on a level table, I certainly have to have the normal force be exactly the same as gravity. But as I tilt this thing, Eventually, it's going to lose contact with the surface, right? If I go all the way vertical here, the box is going to slide straight down. It's going to lose contact with the surface, which means the normal force has to go to zero. So as I tip it up, the normal force has to get smaller and smaller and smaller, eventually reaching zero once we get to the, whole, the vertical, all right? So I would say that 
it should not be the same length as gravity. It should, in fact, be just a little bit smaller. Maybe something like that. All right. Now, what about any other forces that are acting here? Is there anything else that we need to include? Michael, what do you think? Um, should we break up the like components of gravity in order to figure out the pull going down? Okay. We totally could do that, but I don't want to do that just yet because I think that gets a little bit too confusing at this point. Eventually, we will do that. You're exactly right. We can break up the components of gravity. But for now, let's just leave the vectors how they look. What other, should we, what other force should we add, Michael? Uh, we should um, have friction going up the slope. Friction. Okay, so friction is going to go that way. And let's erase this dashed line so we're not confused. All right. And friction is our little script F. So I would say that this is roughly the right lengths of vectors. Gravity is that big. Normal force is a little bit smaller than it. Friction is a little bit smaller than the normal force. Thank you.